All month long, our own Norm Van Ness has been seeking out the best donuts in our area, and tonight we find out who came out on top in our donut wars. And the hardest part was I didn't get to be a judge. <laughs> I know, Norm. I <laughs> yeah. was wishing for the same. And it's been a very long journey to get to this point. A lot of coordination, many miles traveled, and several donuts sacrificed for the greater good. When we narrowed it down to our top five competitors, we knew the competition would be very tight. And the judging actually proved that out as the scores were exceptionally close. But there could be only one winner. And our panel of judges, after a blind taste test, decided that the best donuts in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan come from Tony's Country Store in Lambertville, Michigan. It started as a simple idea. Everyone has a favorite donut shop and they will defend theirs against all others as being the best. Our viewers told us their favorites and we took the top five. Then we arranged for them to meet on the donut battlefield in front of our panel of judges. They didn't know where the donuts were from and had the tough task of picking just one winner out of our area's best donut makers. And now it's come down to the time to make it official and introduce you to our Donut Wars winner or winners, plural, because we've got the entire gang here. On behalf of WNWO, we want to present this plaque to our friends from Tony's Country Store and congratulate them on being our winners of our Donut Challenge. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, Tony's was easily the smallest of the operations in our competition. Outside of the donuts, Tony's is a convenience and liquor store. Essentially three businesses under one roof. Not easy to pull off if you don't have the right people. Uh, I got a great crew. Uh, they took their lessons well. <laughs> and I just appreciate that everybody thinks we're so good. I'm glad we're going to put Tony's on the map, you know, I mean, because I tell everybody about our donuts, so I'm happy that everybody else agreed with us. And like any other competitive business, it's always good to occasionally check in on what the competition is up to. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I have. Tim Hortons, I've tried them. I, ours are the best, honestly. And our judges agreed. Congratulations to Tony's Country Store, winner of the WNWO Donut Wars. And with that, the war is over. Now, we don't want any of our other competitors to feel down in any way. The fact that the people of our area were so passionate about their support of all of you speaks volumes to your commitment to the craft. Many thanks to Ideal Bakery in Gibsonburg, Morning Fresh in Adrian, Wixie Bakery in Toledo, and Sid's over in Sylvania. All of you make our mornings better by giving us that sweet circle of escape that we all love so much. And it's my sincere hope that those of you at home will support these and other local bakeries in our area with your patronage. All donuts are good, but only a few are great. And we've got some darn good ones right here in our own backyard. Angie, back to you.